Podcasting. Good morning, Mega Podlings. It's Crazy Joe. And Christine. Behind us is the world of Coke. It's a tourist attraction in Atlanta devoted to Coke. I've never been here before. You've you, never been here before, right? But you like Coca-Cola. I do like Coke. I like soda. And uh, I hear they have Beverly in there. Which I've never had. You've never had Beverly. It's delicious. No, You're going to love it. No, it's not. You're going to love it. It's Pretty great. sure it's terrible. Uh, I'm going to ask my viewers, please forgive me. I know my good friend Adam the Woo just did a video from here the other day. Seeing as I'm at Dragon Con, I haven't had a chance to watch his video yet. If I repeat some content he already gave you, I apologize. It's not intentional. I haven't seen his video yet. But uh, we're going to check this out, okay? Excuse me. Yes. Uh, I would like some information. Oh, this is the information desk. Uh, what kind of soda do they have in here? Coke. Okay. What kind of soda is most closely related to Santa Claus? Oh, Coke. And what kind of soda do polar bears like? Coke. That makes sense. Here they are. Two tickets for the world of Coke. $17. I mean, you want Coke, you're going to pay for it. This isn't the world of RC Cola here. You can get the world of RC Cola for free. No, you want Coke, you're going to pay the price. And the price is $17. And the price has been paid. Apparently this Coke bottle is celebrating the 1996 Olympics. They're offering us beverages. And one of those beverages is New Coke. I know what I'm picking. New Coke time! We both want with the new Coke. Oh, it's good. It is good. It's good. It is good. Bring it back. Bring it back full time. Coke Retro 85. That's what you can call it. Keep it on the market all the time. You totally could. Let's do this. Let's go in the world of Coke. Drinking the Coke. Everywhere you look, there's vintage Coke ads hanging up, going back about a hundred years. Ads of all kinds. Different fonts, different logos. Some of them are even foreign. And not all of them are red. Some of them are different colors. The tour guide mentioned that Coca-Cola didn't adopt red and white as their official colors until the 1970s. Before that, Coke ads could have appeared in any number of colors. May 8th, 1886, Atlanta pharmacist John S. Pemberton introduced a refreshing new beverage called Coca-Cola to the world. The world approved. Asia Griggs Chandler knew a good thing when he tasted it, so in 1888 he put his money where his mouth was and began buying shares of Coca-Cola. Dun, dun, dun! There he is. This is just really cool how it shows you the evolution of the bottle. And I think this is really neat 
that when they designed it, they designed it so that you could even recognize it in the dark or when it was laying broken on the ground. Cool. Which is true. You can tell that it's a Coke bottle. This is true. I wish they were still glass. Do they tell who invented Coke bottle glasses? No, sadly no. The original Coca-Cola woman, Diva Brown, became a minor celebrity in the 1890s, peddling copies of her authentic Coca-Cola formula. Although labeled by one trade journal as a fake, Diva Brown found plenty of eager buyers for her recipe, which she called My Cola. See what I look like? Bubbleized. Probably look better if I didn't have a phone in front of my face. Let me let me lower this. Do we get bubbleized, Christine? Sure. Look Ooh. at me. I'm so effervescent. You are effervescent. Very effervescent. I have such a bubbly personality. Yes, you do. I do. Yeah, you do. Coca-Cola is here. So share a Coke. Be part of the magic. We'll keep the secret. Because keeping the secret ensures that the magic lives on. And here you have it, ladies and gentlemen, right here inside of this wall that you see. This is only the only hand written documentation for the Coca Cola secret formula. Okay, right here, so we're going to go to Coca Cola in December of 2011. This is going to be our 125th anniversary. It will be the same documentation that was given as collateral for the loan that purchased the Coca Cola company in 1990. Uh, before I made this home here at the Water Coca Cola, Instead, Trust Company Bank in their vaults for 86 years. Trust Company Bank is today's SunTrust, right here in downtown Atlanta. If you want to take a closer look or take any pictures, you're more than welcome. We do have one request, and as I know, one steps over this red and white security line that you see in front of the box. Thank you, Charlie. Go ahead and touch the box. This will result in an alarm. I'm creating you all an exit. So you will right here in the center of the box. Bear is out. The bear is out. We have to get in this line to meet the bear. You can't get in anymore, it's closed. The line is closed? What the heck? Yeah. Uh, right, they open the line, we're gonna meet the bear. I am so excited I can barely take it. I can't bear the anticipation. I can barely take your buttons. I can barely come up with any more. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm out of bear puns, so if I repeat them, you're just going to have to bear with me. You know, you should see you're getting a little grizzly. Look, it's a polar bear, though. It's still bear. No, he's not. He's wearing a necktie. Got pictures with the bear, and we're going to put him here. Boop. 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 Statue, the creation of the Coke, John S. Pemberton. Here's my question, Christine. We have just learned that Coca-Cola was created by a pharmacist. Okay. So my question is this. Back in the day, do you think you needed prescription drug coverage to buy a Coke? No, I don't think so. The world may never know. This old delivery truck was yellow. The various... Coke bottles that were carried in different states. Illinois, Indiana, Iowa. But I am most interested in Pennsylvania. That is the bottle my home state used. Yeah. 
brother is a huge hockey fan, so I'm sure he'd appreciate this old ad with Wayne Gretzky on it. And there's one of the Harlem Globetrotters. That is not a real Oscar. That is a duplicate. But why is an Oscar for Gandhi in the world of Coke anyway? I don't know the answer. I want to know. Ads featuring celebrities, and yet I have yet to see a single one with Bill Cosby on it. And I don't know why. I mean, where's Bill Cosby? You'd think they'd proudly be displaying him here because he promoted Coke for years. Where is he? I don't know. The tour guide reminded me, I asked a question, and the tour guide reminded me of something that I did already know but had forgotten. In the 80s, Coca Cola purchased Columbia Pictures. Columbia Pictures was then sold to Sony. It was Coke that sold uh, Columbia Pictures to Sony. But in the 80s, they owned Columbia Pictures, and that is why the Gandhi Oscar is there, because Coke owned the studio at the time that movie was made. We are in the Bottle Works. Here we go. Okay, we're going up the stairs on the final wing of our Coca-Cola journey. It all ends here in the gift shop, I believe. Oh no, actually we have the taste test, don't we? Yeah, that's up here too. Well, taste test. test, oh my. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is it, coming up. I think we have to see a couple other things first. Oh, we there's have a couple other things first? Oh, season. I thought we were almost done. We're not almost done yet. Apparently we there's more. Oh yes, no way am I missing pop culture. Mm -hmm. Headroom.
I love these old school buttons, especially that one with Max Hedrum. Coca-Cola and Santa Claus just go together. They've successfully marketed Santa Claus to go with Coke. Thank you. Christine's going to have her first ever Beverly. See, you hated the Beverly, but yet you have a cup of it. Oh, no, you have to torture yourself. You have to take it. All right, you ready? Yes. you got to finish all of it, too. Luckily, I only give myself a teeny little bit. Oh. It's does, definitely does it, does it live up to the hype? Well, you know what? It's... It's grapefruit. I mean that. I mean I don't like grapefruit. So this tastes like grapefruit. So. All right. I haven't had any of this it's since last fun. July when I was with Dave and Epcot. Here we go. It's grapefruit. That's why you put sugar on it. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> but now we've done it. It's pretty bad. One of my coworkers said that she thinks Italy doesn't really. They don't really drink this in Italy, and this is their way of like. Ranking America. I, I, I need to go have another oh. different flavor to get this out of my Can you mind. have another Beverly? Can you do it? No, I'm not going to oh, I still have Beverly in my cup. Can I do it? It's awful. It's awful, but can I do it? Let's see. Got that much. Let's try this. I'm going to regret this. Now I need the Phantom Pineapple. Here. Is that the Phantom Pineapple? Yeah. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> that, that fixes That fixes it. Hey, Christine, could you grab me a tab? You want a tab? You gotta buy something first. And as with all great attractions, we exit through the gift shop. As it should be. It was bound to happen. Christine oh. found. We're getting this. The Christmas ornaments. We're getting this because it says Santa. Do you share Coke with Santa? We're getting this. That is that's great. You were you're pointing out the old Sprite bottle too. Isn't that though. neat? Yeah. That's really cool. I like that one. Oh look at this. Old school cherry coke too. 
I'm digging it. Joe, right, we, Joe opted to get the surprise. They asked, yeah, they asked us at the register if we wanted to buy a surprise pack. And they have multi-tier surprise packs. The small one was $2.99. The medium one was 5 bucks. And then there was a bigger one that was, what, like 15 bucks or something? Yeah, and it's stuff that they don't have on the floor. I went with the medium-sized surprise pack for 5 bucks. They ring a bell. They scream surprise. We don't know what we got. You opened it. You opened it. What do I have? A notepad and a pen. It's probably worth 5 bucks. It's not, you know... I wouldn't have picked it out for myself, but you know what? I don't think I got gypped at that price. No, right. And, and we got the fun. We got the fun of a surprise. We did indeed. All right, that's it for World Coke. And uh, keep wearing those pajamas. Coke pajamas inside. Coke pajamas. They should, should I go buy the Coke pajamas so I can keep wearing them? Maybe you should. Go back in. Keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone you need. Keep wearing those pajamas. With the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Oh, it's a trap. Some people call them bitches. Some people call them jammies. They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies. They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas. But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas And now we're having fun Keep wearing those pajamas And now the song is done